Hello everyone, Flying Dutchie here, and welcome back to Norway in EU4 Lines of the North. I have been looking around a bit, and there are a couple of things we need to do. First of all, we are this far with our mission tree. We need to still get 75% more trade power in North Sea, but that will come later. But the more important thing is that we can get Norwegian great power. Um, we did everything, and we need stability of at least 3. And when we get this, we get stability cost modifier minus 25% until the end of the game, if we stay in Norway. At least in Norwegian culture, so I really want to get that one. Um, there's another thing I can do. We are excommunicated right now, which is horrible. Because then we cannot start integrating um, the Teutonic Order, which I really want to do. Uh, we can st stop this by abdicating. And then we get our new heir who is also better on the throne. So I'm thinking about this. Um, and then we will be not, not, not longer be excommunicated. And another thing what I want to do is become Protestant. But I don't think we should do this right now. Because we are really close to stay above 75%. And that way we can prevent the religious turmoil. And if we can prevent the religious turmoil, well, that would of course be better for us. And when I finish humanist ideas, then I can go Protestant. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to abdicate. And I think we are... Wait, did I click the wrong button? Uh, oops, <laughs> I clicked the wrong button. I will be back with my bird safe. <laughs> All right, I'm back <laughs> with the right safe. I need to click this button. We are going to abdicate Hawkorn and we get Christopher Bille as our leader. There we go. And that should mean that we are no longer excommunicated. Yes, and then we can start integrating this country. And the same counts for you. Well, not yet. I'm going to feed him a bit more land. Um, so we will do all of that. Um, another thing that I want to do. And what was that one? Oh, yeah. We are going to get all our marines and we are going to send them over to uh, to Asia. I'm going to build a couple more. We have uh, not that much sailors, but we are working on it. Let's unpause the game. We are just out of the war, I think, if I remember correctly. Yes. Okay, people are entering coalitions. That's not that nice. We have lost the excommunication effects, which is really, really good. And now we finally get some treaties because we are no longer uh, excommunicated. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh well. Let's start the integration of the Teutonic Order. Uh, we have so many Diplo points. So this is a great moment to start the annexation. We are using 11 points. So this annexation is going very, very quickly. I love it. Now, do we have any sailors here? No, here? No. These armies are going to England, because that is the next war in Europe. But where are all my marines then? There are some over here. Go to Neva. Uh, royal marriage from Austria, yes. Holland, we have one in Muscovy, so we cannot get more. That's already fine. Uh, what is happening in Pomerania? Maybe we can vassalize someone over here. Well. I mean, Pomerania is getting very weak. He is almost ready to, to accept my vassalization. If we become Protestant... We will have 101. Let's uh, start uh, improving relations over there. Because if we can get Pomerania as our vessel, we can take the course back. And that don't, don't, doesn't give that much overextension. Uh, aggressive expansion. Oh, what's this? I think they are dead. No. They are one province minor now. Really? Oh, then we should really try it. I don't know if we can get him. That would make things a bit easier. Uh, anyway, let's go to this region. Uh, you can come back. We have revolts over here, unfortunately. 
let's see. Nope, that was the wrong one. This one. Now the good thing about sailors is they don't get attrition on the seas. So these 19,000 are not getting any attrition. And that is really good because we need to go over the seas all the time because we are a global empire. Okay, we have a couple more sailors over here. These four, and then this one can go there. But where are my other sailors then? Are they already in the new world? Must be the case. These are 23. Plus these four is 27. I should also give them a couple of uh, cannons, like 8 cannons or something. To go and siege in the new world. So let's get all these cannons ready. I think we will go to Australia first. And then we will go to Malacca. And then in three years we will go to England. Just to let the aggressive expansion tick a little bit down in Europe. Because it's really, really high. Um, we are annexing. That goes very quickly. Are you still not... Uh, that's fine. What if I... Yeah, I think we can get there. Yeah, I think we can vassalize you. That would be amazing. Is there anyone else over here? No. But we will have some uh, wars. Maybe we can do that without the intervention. These eight cannons need to go on the boat. Where's the boat? I have a boat. Oh, I already sent them over there. Never mind then. Then I will do this first. I'm going to bring... Those cannons, they uh, just fit on the boat, so that is perfect. We have, we have a claim already here. So I'm going to take um, Mal Malgana. And TB is over here. So we can take this former colonial nation. We should also take this region because it's better, it's more, it's richer. And there is the centers of trade. Then we'll just go to war over here. I also need to get a foothold somewhere over here. The good thing is, is that Ming exploded. How big are you, Ming? Oh my goodness, Ming is almost sl uh, small enough to vassalize. <laughs> that would be amazing. But how do I get a claim there? Well, that you can charter company. Oh yeah, charter company. What was that again? Charter company. They don't accept anything. Too powerful. Oh. Uh, what about you then, Yue? Can I get a charter company from you? Okay, that is our way in. And I should do the one that goes into Malacca. And that is... Canton, but also you, right? So it doesn't really matter. I think Hangzhou is richer? No. Maybe Canton is... This is more central. Might take something over here. And what about you? You have all kinds of cores as well. You're super small. Oh, it's their capital. Never mind. I think I'm going to get one from Yue and border Ming and then vassalize Ming. I hope I can vassalize Ming. That would be amazing if we can do that. So yeah, the religious turmoil, we might uh, stop it. Uh, I also need to uh, increase my stability three times for the mission. Declaration of Indulgence. But that one should go away, right? Because I'm no longer... Well, maybe not. Oh, it's just there, and it will stay there, so that will be a modifier for the rest of the game. Governing capacity is a problem, religious unity is a problem, but that religious unity will go away when we get our first humanist idea. So I should just build a couple of courthouses on the provinces with the most development that are not my capital. Because they, these buildings are free, they don't cost a building slot, so... 
Everything that is three or, or better, we'll get a courthouse. State houses we did not unlock yet, right? We did. Oh, okay, then we should build those as well. And do we get more? Um, no, we don't get more on the next level. It's going to take a while. I could use my estates to get more crown, uh, more, um, how do you call it again? Governing capacity, GC. Okay, these eight cannons are going on the boat. So we have 27 over here. And I have in total 31. So where are the other ones then? Not here. Uh, are you done? We explored everything. Okay. Well. Uh, go here, I guess. For now. Uh, what do we have here? No. No. Okay, there are a couple of marines over here. Because we also want to do a war in this region. But I did not claim the right things. We need one more colony there. Um, can you can you move over here? Oh, you're just a bit stuck over there. That's a bit annoying. Now, let's just use 27 marines. That's more than enough. Let's bring them over to Australia. What am I selecting? Oh, oh no, no. Stay here. It's also always hard to, f to see your boats when the, the boats are moving around. So let's go to speed 4. Okay. We are going on the seas to our colony. Start that war. Would love to start a war here as well, actually. Let's try another claim. This unit can take all of this down. Castile is taking everything from uh, what is left over here. New Granada. So yeah, the colonization is uh, well underway. And I think everything will be colonized before 1650. <laughs> Which is really quick. With Holland. Holland, are you giving me your trade power? You should. Yes, you really should. Because that will give me the trade power of Holland. How much do we have? We have 64. France has 67. But we can still upgrade everything. And we will do that. So uh, We do have marketplaces everywhere. Just need to do this upgrade. Click this button. Right. Hey, there is one stability. I could think about getting one right now. And go to two. Then we need one more, then we can complete our mission. Maybe we will uh, get an event and otherwise it will click the button. Alright, you're going to the Australia. Getting some claims so we can maybe facilize you. Oh, he likes me. He likes me. He likes me. We should get you then. An alliance. There we go. Just keep improving the relations. Oh, more treasure fleets. Which is good, but uh, we also get a lot of... Uh, we lose a lot of money. Now, I never upgraded these things in uh, Lubeck. I think now is the time. Especially here. Uh, what is this? You can only upgrade a center of trade in a state or in a trade company. London is no, not a state. Wow. So that will make a big change. Because London is a very good province in this uh, trade node. Uh, yeah, let's just keep converting. Anglicans. We'll accept all religions soon, so that doesn't really matter. Now, are you already there? Yes, you are almost there. You are getting way too much attrition. Maybe you should go back for a bit before all the boats die. Oof. 
So we only lost half of our cannons, but our marines did not lose anything, so that is perfect. Um, preferably I like a conquistador, but we don't need it anymore because we discovered all of the world, so... There's no reason for that. Let's uh, keep improving relations and vassalize Pomerania. Uh, that's not that great. Put you in half. England, you're having only Verden as your ally. We should get some claims on you. Uh, come back. We have three cardinals and suddenly the Pope likes us again. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to use my money for the other centers here as well. We need to prepare for it. Which means I'm making more states. And I also need to do a click here. Yeah, I'm going to state this no matter what, so... Uh, you need four clicks. My burgers are happy, right? Yes, so I will use my edict. There, there we go. And then we are gonna... Well, this is not really good for anything, really. Just need more sailors. Which we will get from everything. So let's just use points that we have left. So no military points, but uh, diplo and a bit of admin. Like this. And then we upgrade you. And York is already at 11. Now we can upgrade you as well. There we go. That should make a change. And we should now have the most trade power of all the countries here. Yes. So if we are going to collect here, we will get a lot of uh, money from it. Uh, I can also upgrade the one in Holland. That should give me more trade power. Because... They give the trade power to me. You have too few seats. London is already part? No, London. Welcome to the parliament. Let's score these things. Right. How's the boat? Okay, that's good enough. They can make the trip. We will declare war on you. And we are going to declare war in uh, Cascadia. And we are going to England after that one. Uh, we need to start getting claims before I forget. Spy network. Yeah, when England is gone, they're going to do so much better. Uh, let's build more courthouses, really. Let's get them on the twos as well. Oh my god, they almost died. <gasps> Please make it! Oh, we get so much attrition on the seas. It's just horrible. Uh, you also need to come back. They have no time for you to do that kind of things. Because we need to go to war here. Um... We cannot click the button. No, we cannot. Nothing else I need to do. We can just do our new wars. And you need to come back to Europe. Can I build more transports? Let's make another fleet. To transport ships uh, around. Like 30 or 40. Maybe 30 transports. Alrighty. Come back home please. Because we are going to declare a war. With my marines. Now there are two forts here. So let's just pick those. We also get a claim here. Because we need to go to war in this region. Maybe on Sunda. Do I border Sunda? Yes, I do. Or do I go with Langfang? No, let's uh, take the Sunda. Well, it's part of the Molokas. We should first get our trade in uh, this region. So we should really go to war with Langfang. You're also not that far away from uh, getting Diplo vassalized. But yeah, we need a claim there as well. 
I get a claim here. No, because they moved around again, I think. It doesn't matter, because now we can claim this one. Almost. Come back, that takes a really long time. We lose... Oh, uh, that is fine, let's just take that one. Right, we are at war with these provinces. The goal is to take at least these two. So that is the next war, and then the boats need to come back. We'll put them here first. And then I will send them back to Europe. Okay, people are at least leaving our coalition, so that is good news. We make 762 sailors and a thousand manpower. We should build these also on naval supplies, so on uh, fish and naval supplies. Yeah, but we don't have the money. Hey, we have a merchant. Oh yeah, that was something I need to do as well. We are now steering everything, everything to the Caribbean. And the Caribbean is in the hands of uh, Sevilla. So Sevilla is getting money because of us. We need to send this to the English Channel. Because this way... We will not steer everything to our enemies. That's what we are doing right now. Now where is this merchant going? No idea. Novgorod is already steering everything to me. Maybe this one to, uh, to Novgorod. Yeah, that will help. So now there is 42 here in this node. And Sevilla 47. Yeah, we get so much attrition on this uh, this part of the world. Uh, can you go? Can you walk there? No. We need our ships here again. So we are also losing sailors because we are on the seas, right? Yeah. We need so much sailors. It's just crazy. Okay, it's really hard to get enough relations with you. Can influence you. Can guarantee you, give you uh, military access, ask for your trade power. Okay, we have Akas who says the printing press. That's good. We have a colony ready over here. Hmm. I could get some centers here. I could also take the Spice Islands of the Moluccas if I colonize here. Let's just do that one. Okay, that's really nice that we are having all of this now. And we should maybe get a claim on you, but... This is your tribal land, and I don't think you can take tribal land anymore. So we really want to take this one. We already have a cheaper one, so let's just do this one. Um, yeah, I want this province, because then we can claim this. Okay, our truce with England is over. My ships are not ready, uh, but soon. So let's bring over these troops to England. We take down Verden as well, with uh, maybe one or two armies. Alright... That. 
You are already giving trade power to Poland, really? How is this going? Okay, we have that one. Let's go to this siege. Quickly host the publications. Oh, that's fine. England entered the coalition. I should have attacked immediately. Oh, but there, I guess expansion is going down. How, how big is my coalition? Okay, so we cannot go to war with England then anytime soon. I should put my diplomats on aggressive uh, outraged countries. That they maybe uh, leave the coalition. Okay, we have one. Soon, one, two, three, four. We are going to get a couple more here. Um, I will core one of them. It's just going to be expensive, but uh, it's how it is. We don't need more there. Okay, you're colonizing. Good. We have that one. We have that one. We have America. We have uh, Finland. That one, that one, that one, that one. We have this one, we have that one, we have that one. We don't have La Plata and the Caribbean. The rest we have a colonial nation. Uh, the, those ones we can only get with wars. Unless I want this land, but I don't want to. So I think we are going to colonize over here. Hopefully we can take that before they move there. Now, and since the... You can come back, because uh, we cannot go to war with England. We need to uh, use our ships in the south. It's also, that's also a uh, good thing about going Protestant. <clears throat> you get uh, plus 15% improved relations, so your aggressive expansion ticks down quicker. It's actually really good. Uh, let's kill this army. Oh, you have no leader. Oh, too late. Enemy invasion? Really? I mean, it's not that bad that France takes this, because it makes it easier later to take all the land in one war. Okay, we did stack wipe everything. Um, we will go to the Black Food. Can you guys, who, are, who is here? California, can you go here? Teach this down for me. No. Will not take that one. How is the looming disaster? It is going down with one. Yeah. We need to be very lucky if we want to stop this. Okay, that is really annoying. Well, hey, we are making uh, ships here, so never mind. It's not that annoying. Uh, wait. Yeah, we don't have enough sailors to make more, uh, more boats. We need so many sailors. It's just crazy. And that merchant is going back and forth, so I'm not going to be bothered by it. I'm not going to do anything with it. Because it's too annoying. You guys are going on the ships. And you need to go over here. We are out of sailors. It's just horrible. So we cannot repair our ships. Yeah, we need we, the the only thing we need is sailors. Uh, let's do the ones that give the most unity. Maybe we can stop it, but I am afraid we can't. So let's use an edict here as well. Um, yeah, we just need more sailors. It's just simple as that. Um, that one, that one, and all the fish ones are gonna be built. Fish, dock, and an impressment office. And also naval supplies are going to be uh, used for that. And for the soldiers household I will always use the grain. Alright, get on the ship please. And go here.
We can take military tech. I will, because this is not ahead of time, and we have we only have to pay a very small amount. We will make our cannons into the one with the most fire pips, because that is the thing you want, I think. So we will do the large one. Not 100% sure how that works still, with the pips. Uh, yeah, let's just attack them. With our good discipline. Nice. Uh, you just bring more troops over. I could stop my trading fleet for a bit. Can maybe get our sailors back. Yeah, the colony went wrong. Or as it went wrong, they are super annoying. Moving around the whole time. Oh, well, let's try this. They they came from here, so I guess they are going that way now. At least I hope so. Okay, there we go. We are getting sailors again, right? Yes, you can trade again. Or can we upgrade the ships? Okay, there were seven ships, not good. Let's just do that right now, so we don't have to do that again for a while. And claims on England. Essex. Oh, that takes a lot of points. Um... Yes, you keep improving relation, that is fine. We have an air, 143. Ugh. I'm gonna kill it. We're gonna flush the baby. Bye, baby. See you next time. <laughs> oh, the babies. Flushing the baby. Poland hates us so much, they are slandering our merchant. They do everything they can. No, the colonists went wrong again. Are you really going to do this the whole time? Really? Well, then I go here. Chips come on here and go over there. We need to take this one. Portugal is here as well. I don't like that at all. Government reform. Let's have a look. Those are new. I don't know if I selected one of these before. So let's have a look at the tier 6 reforms. Parliamentarism. We are already a parliament. The nobility will go away and we don't have a diet anymore. Hmm. Royal decree. We get more absolutism and maximum absolutism. Aristocratic court, we get yearly army tradition decay and diplo reputation. General estates? No. Then we have states general. We get the status versus monarchist mechanics. I don't know if I want to play with that. Uh, become a republic? Maybe not. Or we can become a theocratic government. <laughs> no, I don't think I will do all anything of this. I mean, we get more... Pro uh, maybe we do this one. Get even more reform progress, which we can use later as well to uh, centralize uh, states. The lo uh, loyalty will go up and the diet will no longer increase the influence. I think I'm gonna go with that one. The dip reputation is really nice though, and this is always good. But let's go with the general general estates. So if we do a uh, diet, they only get loyalty now. Uh, Catholic and arc archangels. Okay. Hopefully, I not forget that one. Okay, let's wait for our boats. Boats. 
takes a long time for you guys to come here. Yeah, they lose all their health with this, this small trip. Which is crazy. Let's go to this one. Spice trade. The, the price of spices is now worth more. Go there. Uh, more sailors. Takes a long time to come off this boat. Oh, maybe we can piece you guys out. Let's uh, do this to wait for. Yeah, you're just taking everything south over here. Oh well. Lunga Ralum. Hey, we get our stability that we need. Uh, okay. I should not have flushed the baby. We don't have enough prestige anymore. Which is a shame. Prestige is good for all kinds of things, but it will come up and then hopefully we are still in stability 3, otherwise we will never be able to click the button. Come on game, let me click the button. Uh, can we piece everything out here? I can only take these two. Because the black food is not bordering us and uh, you cannot take the other lands anymore, only uh, their capital, so you cannot take any more tribal land. That's I think patched out. And the Arapao is there. So we it's fine this peace deal. We just take these two and then we will move on. There we go. Now I need to state one of them. Okay, so you also lose the development. And that makes sense because you just move up the high dice just moving from here to here. You take the base development and they are fleeing to here. So that is a fun mechanic, I think. We should just keep worrying till we have everything. We should just keep going like this. Because <laughs> they are going to uh, r uh, go to watch Kodiak all the, all the way over there and just retreat from us. <laughs> That's what they are going to do. <laughs> okay, we finally landed here. Do we get attrition here? Oh, yes, we do. Go back. We almost lost our shit. Well, we are ahead of time, right? Yeah, it's, let's reduce the inflation again. Because we have the points. We are using an inflation guy, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, Pomerania. What are we doing with you? Let's influence you as well. And then we can give you a gift. And then you are my vessel. But I can only vassalize you when we are at peace, so let's go to peace and then vassalize. And then we will do the War of England. Well, as if we can, because they are still in a coalition. I don't think we can, really. What is this? Uh, prestige, we need prestige. So let's take this. Now we have two diplomats available again. Outraged countries, please. Make them leave the coalition. No, let's do it then. Hey, the impressment offices. There we go. 822 sailors now each month. That is what I want to see. Margaret, welcome. Please don't die of a hunting accident. I mean, she is a lady, so she is not going to, uh, to uh, do hunts, right? Is that actually a thing, guys? Please tell me in the comment section. Is that a thing? That when you get a female heir, they, they will not die of hunting accidents? Because I don't think uh, ladies did that back in the day. But I can be wrong about that. Maybe a couple did. Oh, we are almost there. 
Oh, we need to do Lund. This can stop the uh, disaster. We need this conversion right now. Oh, and remove this edict. We just need humanist ideas. We can stop it. We are not there yet. Also, it's 30% more expensive because we still don't have the printing press. But the printing press is coming because we had it in our capital. Please spread. And Lund is getting close as well. Oh, we cannot do that, of course. Um, how about these provinces? Okay. I don't think I'm going to attack up before I get the... Uh, Or I get the... Uh... Never mind. Uh, why did this go wrong again? Okay, so they just go back and forth. You cannot colonize this. It's impossible to colonize. So let's just uh, go away from there. And just colonize somewhere else. What do we want to colonize? Okay, we will take that from England. We could uh, finish the uh, the coastline here. And finish this coastline. Could colonize some good islands. I could also just take um, the highest development provinces. Yeah. We can't get this because they will go there all the time. Let's give it one more try then. And then I will stop that. Spain, you are way too strong. I don't like you at all. You are collecting in Genoa. Yes, but it's not your main trade center. And you should do that because the AI is just stupid over there. Steer all the trade to Genoa. That would be the thing you need to do. Now let's wait for this. There we go. We will pick everything. We have now five provinces in Australia. Yes, one, two, three. Oh, that's expensive. That one as well. And you are six, so four and five. We will add you to the trade company. I can't. Oh no, this is a colonial region. What am I thinking? Uh, in that case, we will increase the autonomy where we have revolts. And then we need to click this. And then we are going to the next war in the next episode. So thanks for watching, guys. We are going, hopefully, to war with England soon when they are going to leave the coalition. I hope that is uh, somewhat soon. We are working on it. Oh, and the Teutonic Order is annexed, so I did not see that happen. And that means more states. Yeah. We don't really have room right now. Okay, that's going to be the end for this episode, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, and then I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.